Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best keybinds and sensitivity for new keyboard and mouse players. I made the switch to keyboard and mouse 5 months ago, so trust me, I know how hard it can be to find the right keybinds and sensitivity. This is exactly the video you have been looking for, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting off with movement, I use WASD, which is kind of a given. I use my spacebar for jump, which I am sure many of you guys will also be using. For my sprint, I use sprint by default. I highly recommend turning this on because it will free up your left shift, which is a very important keybind. I will explain why later in the video. Going down one, we have auto run, which is not too important, but I just have it on number one. For my crouch, I have it on left control, which is a pretty basic keybind. Moving down, we have combat. My fire is left and my target is right mouse button. Now moving into the more important keybinds, we have reload. I use R, which is a really good keybind and one that many people also use. For use, I have it on E. You will use this keybind a lot, so make sure it is on a good spot. If you really don't like to use E, another keybind you can use is F. For harvesting tool, I use T. I've seen a lot of people use mouse buttons or other keybinds such as F, Shift, or even Tab for their pickaxe. So for my first weapon slot, I have it on my middle mouse button, which is when I literally click on it. On this slot, I always hold my AR. On my second slot, I have it on mouse wheel down, and this is the slot I have my shotgun in. I love scroll wheel down because it makes it so easy to pull out my shotgun. For my third weapon slot, I have it on caps lock and I either hold my SMG or crossbow slash sniper in this slot. On my fourth weapon slot, I have it on X and I usually hold my heels on this weapon slot. For my fifth weapon slot, I have it on Z and I also hold my heels in this weapon slot. Some other weapon slot binds that people use are simply 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. However, I found that it's really hard to press, especially since I have smaller fingers. Getting into probably the most important section, we have building. So for my crouch while building, I kept it the same on left control. Now this is the interesting thing. I use Q for my wall. I've seen a couple of pros also use Q for their wall, but I also see many others using a mouse button. Any of these two would be a great option for your wall. It is very important to use mouse buttons for your building because it frees up a lot of space on your keyboard and since you're pressing so many buttons when building, your keyboard can get very crowded. For my floor, I have it on mouse button 2 which is the mouse button that's farthest away from me. A very common keybind for stairs are mouse buttons and I use the thumb mouse button which is closest to me. My cone is on left shift and many players use this. Mongrel uses this, and rightfully so. This is a really good keybind because since you're pressing it with your pinky finger, you don't have to take your fingers off of WASD. So when you're doing high ground retakes, this helps out a lot. For my trap, I use V, but at the moment there are none in Season 6, so it is not used too much. Another great bind for your trap would be Tab. To place my builds, I use left mouse button, nothing special there. To repair and upgrade, I use H. To rotate my builds, I have it on Y, and the main reason I have it there is because I started to run out of room on my keyboard. To change my material, I have it on 2, and I can quickly press it since it's right above the W key. For edit, I use F. Many players use F to edit. Some other keybinds that I would recommend for editing is G and E. Now if you want scroll wheel reset, this is very important. You need to have your scroll wheel on building edit and reset building edit. If you only keep it on reset building edit, it will not work properly. My crouch is the same as before, and to select my building edit, I have it on left mouse button like everyone else. The rest is not really important, so I'm just scrolling through it. Now getting right into the sensitivity. So I am rocking with a 14.3 X and Y on 800 DPI. The reason I have it this high is because I'm a wrist player, so I don't move my arm a lot. So if you're an arm player, I would recommend something below 10% X and Y. On 800 DPI, your sensitivity should be no higher than 15% X and Y. If you're on 400 DPI, it should be below 30% X and Y. My targeting sensitivity is on 35.3% and this is when you aim in with an assault rifle. For my scope sensitivity, I have it on 35.3% and this is for snipers and things like that. The rest is not really that important.
Wait, before you click off the video, please go follow my Twitter, which will be down in the description below. I know that many YouTubers say this, but please take five seconds out of your day and follow me. You guys have no idea how much it helps me out. With all of that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If this video helped you out in any way, please drop a like on it. Only drop a like on it if it actually helped you guys because I want to get honest feedback from you. Also, please don't forget to subscribe as only 17% of you guys who watch my videos are. My name has been Vermax. Stay safe and take care.